the gamut if you do not absolutely have to be out here you should stay off of the streets it is just not safe it was hard for us to even see the street signs as we were making our way up 95 coming here earlier this evening we're going to have live reports all evening long obviously but i'm live in bradford leslie mays nbc connecticut news back to you all right, Leslie, thank you. We're going to get a look at the roads now, checking out some of our traffic cams. Uh, we have a crash in Farmington, 84 West right now, between exits 39 and 38. A tractor trailer involved on one side of the road, a car on the other side. Let's take a look at the maps right now. Everywhere we look, we're seeing uh, very, very slow speeds. A surprising number of people still out there on the roads, despite the warnings from state officials to really not chance it. There are cars out there. Uh, we had a tractor trailer crash in Griswold. It had 395 shut down. Uh, that all lanes have since reopened and to our south uh, major road closures in Long Island but we're comparatively not doing so bad in lower Fairfield County we've had numerous spin-out crashes those persist state police are still very very busy out there on 95 and the Merritt Parkway but so far no major highway closures or uh, catastrophic crashes to tell you about here's a live look outside uh, 95 and uh, it's pretty snow covered as you can see. We're going to go out on the roads using our live and drive technology. We've got some pictures on, from Route 9 in Middletown. It's pretty dark, pretty quiet, not too much company in that stretch of the highway, but you can see snow covered roads. I was looking at the traffic cams in uh, Cromwell. Uh, you can barely see the, uh, the roadway at all. So crews are out there working. Uh, the latest figures from state police now, 119 crashes that they have responded to since 5 this morning. All right, I want to take you to some pictures now from Greenwich. Uh, right after the snow started falling, we had a uh, bus crash that happened, Soundview Drive at Arch Street, uh, and just before 9 o'clock this morning, and that bus uh, ended up taking down a utility pole. I believe we have some pictures to show you from that crash, or maybe we'll get to get, get to that just a little bit ahead. Guys, back to you. All right, Heidi, thanks so much. This system, of course, having a major impact at Bradley Airport. You can tell by looking at this live picture. So despite the lack of snow in far northern Connecticut, there have been 50 53 flight cancellations, 26 departures and 27 arrivals at Bradley. One departure was delayed as well today. As always during bad weather, you should call your airline before you head to the airport. All right, we have a lot more to get to on this first alert weather day. The snow has been falling in parts of the state since daybreak. As you take a live look at the shoreline here in New Haven, the totals just keep getting higher. And remember, be extremely careful if you have to get out there on the roads. A live look here along I-95. A lot of people are heeding the warnings to stay off the roads, but you can see they are snow-covered and very slippery. Tough going for sure. Make sure you download our NBC Connecticut app. Really helpful in this kind of weather. You can track the storm yourself. It's free in the App Store or on Google Play. We're coming right back. This winter, count on NBC Connecticut.